just like you'd expect it to play. I think I missed that bomb. Ta-da! Alright. So let's quit. And quit. Don't want that running in the background while I'm showing anything else off. Alright, what's the other main staple you need to see? Obviously you need to see Angry Birds. Make sure I didn't need to touch anything there. And as you can see, absolutely fantastic, right? No slowdowns, no problems. I didn't say I could play the game, I just said I could show you. So I can get a little close without the oscillation freaking out there. I'm going to back a little bit. There we go. Right? It's Angry Birds. You've seen it, you've played it, you love it. Alright. So there you go. Now, a couple of things you're probably noticing. I'm not using any soft keys. You know, I'm not using any back, home, or whatever. I've gotten used to trying to go home pretty much most of the time. Because there's no physical keys here, they have something called soft keys. You tap this little, uh, this little guy into the launch soft keys, which brings up a little interface. I'm going to close that interface, and what it leaves me with is this little tiny ball. I put that anywhere I want. Oops, can't see it, sorry. This little tiny ball, when I tap it, will bring up a set of fake hot keys or soft keys that have all the standard Android stuff. Can you see that? There we go. So essentially, if you ever need soft keys, you can bring them up. You'll get pretty adept at getting around without them, unless, you're, of course, you're trying to navigate menus and whatnot, and then you'll have some need to bring those soft keys up but I just go ahead and keep them off most of the time. Now, as you can see, because of the size of the screen, I've got three virtual screens, but I really only need one. Um, let's see, little, little uh, Astro file manager, and uh, let's go and grab a PDF file. This is something else everyone wants to see. Let's grab a scanned Fangoria in PDF format. And there you go. And of course, you can zoom in and out, go to landscape. Hello, go to landscape. Maybe you can't do landscape on this one. So this is a case where we use the soft keys and we can go home from here, right? So we're gonna take a look at easy PDF. This is actually a much better PDF viewer than what it defaulted to. Hello. Oh, I've got the hotkeys on, sorry. My bad. All right. so. All right, let's see. Um, it's hard to see over the shoulder here. See my docs. And what is that? Uh, let's see. Import file. So I've got a nice little folder in here called mags. I'll go and do a technology. And um, let's see, let me go back. Let me do something that will show up better on the screen. Movies and TV. We'll do some Fangoria. There we go. And we'll bring this guy in. Normally it doesn't quite take this long. I'm not sure what it's doing. Oh, it's doing some sort of an import thing. We don't want that. Oh, now it's stuck doing its thing. Now let's go back to Astro. As you can see, you move around this thing pretty well. Oh, it's been copied. Okay, so it copied it off. Let me go back to Easy. I see what it was doing. I'm still getting used to Easy PDF for you, so you'll have to forgive me. My Docs. Hello. Let's see, all PDFs. That's what I actually wanted to begin with. Now we'll try this again. All right. So there's our Fangoria. Sorry about the small delay there. All right, it'll render the page, and there we go. And flip pages, flip your finger across, and volume. Some of these have multiple pages scanned on them and all sorts of other goofy crap, so you'll have to forgive the bad scan work. But as you can see, um, I think this is another one that, there we go. So there you go. And of course, zooming in and out, very, very fast, very effective. Easy PDF, very, very cool. Um, so there's your PDF viewing pleasures. 
Uh, I think on this one, you if you're sideways, it'll, you, know, you can do the page turning thing. Pretty dang cool, huh? And of course, you can view other file types. You can listen to music. I think I've got a little bit of tunage on here somewhere. Uh, of course, you guys will give me a bunch of crap, I'm sure. The songs. Okay, so I've got some Belinda Carlisle on here, whatever. Alright, so... And if you can see there, uh, my little music player's got the little streaming uh, lyrics down there. And of course, it went out to the internet and fetched the cover for me. How cool is that, right? Alright, so there you have it. There is sort of the uh, Noid. I call this a Noid, by the way. A Nook Android. A Noid. Um, and uh, pretty much has all the power of any other sub-250 uh, Android tablet that you've seen. Of course, there's quite a bit of work to get to this point. There's a lot of hacking to do. There's a lot of installation to do. There's a lot of tweaking to do. But as you can see, the end result's quite worth it. This is, I would say, I went and I, I looked at every single tablet I could lay my paws on. Best Buy, Fry's, um, everything that was at this price range. I also looked at the Galaxy Tab and things that were outside of my price range. But for 250 bucks, this screen is absolutely beautiful, and I'm sure it's not coming over nearly as well on uh, this video as it actually is. But it's simply fantastic looking um, to, to see. For $250 and a little bit of blood, sweat, and tears for a full Android tablet of this quality, people only, uh, constantly say that, you know, 10 inches is better. Now, personally, I'm one of these guys, as I showed you earlier, I'm a one-handed guy. So I've got a big hand, which is true, but now I can do whatever I need to do this way, right? So if I need to type something, if I want to scroll, if I want to do whatever, um, I've got that availability. Um, so I like it. If this was... If this was 10 inches, I couldn't hold it right. See, even like this, I can hold it this way with two hands, and I can still do it. So I think 7 inches, to be honest with you, is absolutely perfect. I think this is the perfect size. If you're blind, zoom in. If uh, uh, the battery life's pretty good, I've never actually sat down and tested it. Um, and again, there's a couple of little gotchas in here. Uh, let me see. The notification bar, as you can see, has a little bit of um, residual cell phone stuff in there. Trying to get that for you. See, it says no service, and the notification bar is kind of squished. It's a work in progress. And, of course, like I said, there's some phone residuals laying around here. But in all honesty, it's very, very impressive. Um, see, so what else can I show you? Um, how about Tank Hero, right? That's a big uh, Android game. We'll take a look at that. I've got, like, three more minutes here. Want to resume a previous game? No. Want to play? I don't know what key configuration I had this set up for. We'll see. Oh, I have no... Oh, so this is the tap one, right? So tap to move. Dust. Oh, get out of the way. No, sorry, you can't really see much with my hands all over it. But you get the idea. And that little soft key guy can be turned off. I know you're probably going, that soft key's going to make me mental. You can turn it off. It's not a big deal. All right. So there you go. There's uh, Tank Hero. Not my um, preferred method of controls, however. Let's see, so input, yeah, swipe's not good. Let's see, D-pad and tap, I think that's the one I like. Let's take another look at this here. Alright, I'll try this again. This is really hard to do from here. Yeah, you get the idea. Alright. There you go. As you can see, it's um, it's very, very, uh, very well done. Very nice, very tight. Uh, I can't recommend this enough. If you want a tablet, if you want something you're not going to spend six, seven, eight hundred bucks on, and all you want to do is dabble. I'm a dabbler, and so um, this suits me absolutely perfect. If you want to see other videos, specific apps running, uh, please let me know. I'll be happy to do it. This is Shane R. Monroe from Review Lagoon, looking at the. The Nook Color converted to a full-blown Android Froyo tablet.